to my channel or welcome to any new watchers or subscribers. So everything's a bit up in the air at the moment with the coronavirus situation, but I know a lot of you are still going to be starting uni soon, so I thought it'd be really useful to do a what to take to uni video, as well as a room tour of my first year accommodation. So I know that I watched a ton of room tour videos before I moved into my accommodation and I still managed to overbuy, so this video is going to be a really honest assessment of what you do and don't need. So for those of you who don't know me, I am going into my second year at university now at the University of East Anglia. In my first year, I stayed in Barton House, so I'm going to just show you a quick video of my room empty. So let's start off with the basics. You're going to need notepads and pens. I then just got some folders once I actually arrived at uni when I knew how many I actually needed. Now you can get by at uni without having your own laptop or computer, there'll be loads of resources at your uni library. However, it's going to be so much easier to have your own. I used my little Microsoft Surface Go and then I bought a separate computer screen so that I wasn't straining my neck when I was working. If you do need a new device then I would really recommend a Surface Go because you're not going to have much room in your lecture theatres unless you're on a really tiny course. And also the keyboard that it comes with has like a trackpad which is like a laptop which I really like. Okay, so let's start off with stuff your room and then we'll move on to kitchenware. So I just did one massive Amazon order for most of my uni stuff because at the time Top Cashback were doing 10% off, I think kitchenware, homeware and technology. So that covered nearly everything that I needed. So I'll link everything in the description. Obviously buy from wherever you want to. As a student you're going to need to be savvy so you may as well practice now. So the first things you're going to need are bedding. So I actually just found a duvet and some white, um, and a white duvet cover and pillowcases at home so I just took those with me. I think I then bought some pillows just from Tesco's or somewhere, so I won't link those. One thing that I will say is make sure to look at photos of the uni accommodation that you're going to be staying in online. They should have loads on your uni website, but different unis have different colour schemes, so there's no point in buying like a blue duvet set if your wall's going to be, I don't know, yellow or something. It might not go together. Okay, next thing, and this is not essential, but it was really essential to me is a mattress topper because my mattress at uni really wasn't that comfy I mean it wasn't terrible it wasn't like wood but it was not the most comfy I've heard a lot of other uni students say the same thing so I would get a mattress topper if I were you I then just bought this throw just to add some character to my room it's super soft and again I just went with neutral colors because I couldn't really remember what the color was of my room that I was going to be staying in I thought it was blue turned out it was yellow so I'm glad that I got neutral colors then I got a lamp, so originally I just got like a colour changing one from Amazon um, but then I got bought this Lumi lamp for Christmas and so I then replaced the small lamp with the Lumi lamp. So next thing is an extension lead, I don't think I actually used mine more than twice while I was in my first year accommodation but it's always useful to have. And then I just got this shoe rack which is actually really handy because you're not going to have much space in your uni room unless you're paying like a grand a week, your uni room's not going to be massive. So this shoe rack was really helpful for saving space in my room. Next up is this washing basket, this is probably one of the things that you probably won't even think about. And then just don't forget little things like your phone charger, maybe a small first aid kit and a sewing kit, and a lockable box for anything personal such as your passport. I think I actually had to use my passport twice in my first semester, one for a job and one for something else, so if you have one then don't forget to bring that too. So that's everything I can think of that you will need for your actual room, so let's just move on to the bathroom really quickly. So you're obviously going to need bath towels, now I'd advise getting two sets because if you have one in the laundry you've then got a spare set. And the laundry is actually really expensive at uni as well. I think most unis use the same company. And it's like three pounds to dry your clothes. So I know most students just use like a clothes rack. I just got a heated one and used that. So I then had a spare pair of towels while they were drying. Next thing I'd advise getting is like a bath mat. I just got a memory foam one from Amazon. Again, I'll link all of this below. Um, so my uni shower room actually had like a shower tray and then it had like a wet room floor. But some uni rooms are literally just the wet room floor. So you're gonna want a bath mat as well, just to stand on when you get out of the shower. Now Corona hit really unexpectedly, and so this is literally the only photo I have of my room. Okay, so let's move on to the kitchen. This is what a real uni kitchen will end up looking like. Grim, I know. So let's start with the obvious things. You're obviously gonna need glasses and mugs, but please don't get... I would advise not getting generic ones that everyone else is gonna have, because if one gets broken, then no one's gonna own up to it, no one's gonna know whose it is that's broken. Now unless you're a pot noodle type of student then you're going to need frying pans and saucepans. I only ever used one frying pan and one saucepan at a time or two saucepans. So I'd advise literally just taking a frying pan and two saucepans with lids because 
one, you're probably not going to use more, and two, you're not going to have space. You're then going to need some kitchen utensils. Now, I would recommend paying a little bit more for quality for these because you don't want them to break. It's better to pay a little bit more first time than have to buy twice. So these are things like a fish slice, a masher, a big serving spoon, things like that. Oh, and don't forget a sieve. Then if you're cooking, you're obviously going to need a kitchen knife, but don't buy four like I did. I literally only ever used one. So the other three literally just sat there not doing anything. And of course, if you've got a kitchen knife, you're going to want a chopping board as well. Now, again, I would get one that's easily recognisable so that you know who's the two. Now, these are things which I didn't even think about until I moved in. So you've got a cheese grater, a garlic crush, some kitchen scissors and a can opener. I literally didn't think about those things until I moved in. I think I wanted to open a can of beans on my first day and I was like, oh, I can't do it. And then don't forget like baking trays, non-stick dishes and if you like baking like a mixing bowl. I know I wanted to make some cakes for my boyfriend once and we literally didn't have a bowl so we couldn't do it. And then oven gloves and tea towels. I got mine to set which was really easy. Again I would make sure they're easily recognisable. Um, as a flat we kind of shared ours but I know some people want to keep theirs separate. Make sure to get some food containers, one so you can meal prep and two so that if you have to go and have lunch somewhere you don't have to then buy it out. It's so much cheaper to make it yourself and take it with you. And then last thing, this little sponge, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's like a little sponge on a stick. And it then means you don't have to get your hands wet in the washing up bowl, so I really like that. So sorry if the camera angle's a bit different. I just finished filming this earlier, and then I literally realised I forgot to say about plates and cutlery. I think it's because my boyfriend just bought like a whole dinner set, and then we split it between us from when we went to uni. So don't forget plates and cutlery as well. So just a few quick tips. As I've said, make sure that everything you get for your kitchen is easily recognisable so that nothing gets muddled up. And if you're not sure that you need something, then don't get it. If you're not sure you need it, then you're very unlikely to need it in your first week. You'll be able to buy that stuff when you get there anyway. So in hindsight, what did I get that I didn't need? Firstly, I've got this massive over the door mirror and an over the door coat hook as well, which I mean, you can't even use because it's a fire door anyway. Like I don't think it would actually fit. And Obviously I can't use an over the door mirror and an over the door hook at the same time so I don't know what I was thinking. But then when I moved in both of them were there so that was like, I think it was about 60 quid that I wasted. So that is everything on my uni checklist for today. Obviously I ended up buying more stuff once I moved in and you guys will probably end up doing that too. But I think that must cover all of the basics that you'll need especially for your first week or two. Best of luck if you are starting uni in September and I'll be doing loads more uni videos such as how to budget and manage your finances. So stay tuned for those.